Good morning, guys. I hope you had a good day yesterday. Here's a recent image of Yellowstone Lake. This here on the right is Stevenson Island. The static cam is located um, up there at the northern edge of Yellowstone Lake by the fishing bridge. It's evidently on the top of a cell phone tower. 7.05 Mountain Time. It's currently 8.39 a.m. Central Daylight Time. The monitors at Little West Thumb are still screaming as the magma comes into the system. Volcanoes like to scream. It's a high-pitched sound um, that the machines and people don't even hear because it's such a high-pitched sound. So loud. Here at the borehole, 950 is an earthquake. This was at 634 and 5 seconds at the Norris Geyser Basin. This is a magnitude 1.2 that USGS isn't reporting. You can see here it's marked in red. That means the computer picked it up and figured it was at this location or close to this location for the borehole. Um, the computers there automatically bring in all the data and trying to figure out the closest location for these earthquakes and if there is an earthquake it'll mark it in red. Here we have the location, the monitor for Little West Thumb. This is a caldera. It erupted the last time it's marked in red. Oh, about 162 to 150,000 years ago. It was uh, an explosion and blew this all out and created what they call the West Thumb of Yellowstone Lake. There's lava flows of rhyolite in this area that are less than 10,000 years old. This paper here comes from um, USGS. It says subsequent eruptions within a period of less less than 10,000 years produced the Dry Creek, West Thumb, and Mary Lake flows along the Central Plateau uh, vent zones and the Buffalo Lake flow and the Madison River Plateau zones. Yeah, there's been other eruptions since the major eruption, and they're hoping that the next eruption is going to be very small. How small? Well, according to uh, the University of Utah, they think it would be about the size of what Mount St. Helens eruption was. So when I see this activity, all these signatures marked in red, at Little West Thumb. Yes, it's very concerning. In my last video that I posted yesterday, I talked about how the ground is so brittle. It's like glass and we're getting all this popping. That's what this signature is. This comes in as a magnitude 0 0.65 and we'll look at its signature. That is the most recent one there in red. Um, six. 30 and 55 seconds universal time. So that would be at 1.34 a.m. today, Friday, June 25th, 2021. This one right here, yeah, we got the signature of dike intrusion. It's trying to uh, come up the magma. You'll see the same signature there at the uh, East Rift Zone there in Hawaii. Uh, 5.52 and... Oh, maybe nine seconds. We'll just call it 10 seconds. That would have been 5.52 a.m. today. And it could be a magnitude 0 0.54. Could be a little bit larger. It's hard to tell where the signature starts at. It could be as high as a 0 0.69. And we'll go back to the spectrogram. I'm going to jump around to some of these. There's so many of them. Um, there's easily over 100. This one right here is a magnitude 0 0.89. And we'll look at its spectrogram. Here's one at 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon, 4.01. And we'll look at its signature, another very small one. This one comes in at 0 0.76. We got another one on the same line. Uh, 21.04 universal time. So that would be 4.04 yesterday afternoon. And that one is a 0 0.80. We got another small one, more popping, cracking of that rock at 4.34 um, Central Daylight Time or 20.34 Universal Time. There's its signature. 
that comes in as a magnitude 0 0.50 and then we got another one right there another small one mm -hmm. but see it's bringing up yeah a lot mm -hmm. of hot mm -hmm. hot stuff oh uh, what else we got another one there i think Oop, i'm on the wrong line let me see right there uh 4 37 central daylight time we got another one right there at 4 uh, 4 37 central daylight time or 2037 another one right there 4 38 um this one where's that one's got kind of marked in red let's see um 440 let's see we'll come over 441 see and none of these absolutely none of these are being reported all right we got another one at 443 another one at 445 another one at 446 there's that signature starting to show up yeah uh 446 and 55 seconds let's see we got another one 447 uh 449 450 uh 451 453 you want to see the signature okay let's see we got another one there uh 2055 yeah, there's just a lot of them. Look at that. Okay, what we got here? Some small stuff there. Oh, what's that? Okay. Uh 2.36 yesterday in 25 seconds. That's another dinky one. All right, we'll take a look at this. Um, See what line this blobs of magma came in at. There's that signature again. Like, so we're just going to jump around here. And this is um, West Thumb again. Okay, that one there is 12.52 a.m. That would have been today. Another really, I thought it's dinky, dinky, dinky. Let's try and find that one. Uh, 621.40. So that would have been 121 a.m. today. And there's its signature. And we'll go back to its signature. Yeah, more popping, cracking of the rock. That would be a magnitude 0 0.45. This monitor comes from Lake Butte there at Yellowstone Lake and we got an earthquake here more popping of the rock at 1055 Universal so that would be 555 a.m. today in 55 seconds and that comes in as a 0 0.97 here we got the screw wave yeah the harmonic tremors magma on the move there at um, 1106 there's its signature so that would be at 6.06 .06 and 30 seconds this morning. All right. And we got another one marked in red. Let me see if I can find it. Two forty-six uh, Central. Uh, 2.46 Universal Time. That would have been at 9.46 p.m. last night. We'll look at its signature. Yeah, look at that. Let's make that bigger if I can. Yeah, I can't. That would have been a 0 0.72. Um, and we got blobs of magma coming in at uh, this whole line here. Um, yeah, the 530 line. And it continued. Yep. <laughs> Yep, there's that signature again. Everything is quite all right. Remember, this is Lake Butte. Okay, at um, 5.59 and 45 seconds, 
Universal Time, 12.59 a.m. I think I covered that on the other uh, monitor, didn't I? I don't know. There's a signature, and it's pointing down, meaning it came somewhere from the south. 0 0.75, maybe. Looks like three more marked in red. 18.17, now that's pointing up, so it means it came north of this location. 1.34 p.m. yesterday. And there's its signature. We got another one marked in red here at uh, 16.52. 11.52 a.m. yesterday. There's its signature and another little one at 15.29 Universal. That would have been, oh, about 10.29 Central Daylight Time. All right, and Lake Butte is also picking up that line of um yeah magma coming into the system dike intrusion trying to erupt trying to have an eruption there at yellowstone lake a dike intrusion which is not good see that line yeah not good yeah we got a line of melt there a line of melt up there yep yeah. And this is what it was showing when I pulled the files earlier. Let me bring this down. When I pulled the files just a little while ago. Got a little earthquake there. Another one there. Another one there. And that's a screw wave. Harmonic tremors. Not good. And a current image of Yellowstone Lake. There's Stevenson Island there on the right. Uh, 725. They have not updated this in almost an hour. All right. They just probably refreshed it not too long ago. I refreshed my page 750 Mountain Time. It's currently 912 AM Central Daylight Time. And a current view of their live webcam. Yeah, you can see all the dead trees back over here. Yeah, you think, I've mentioned this before, you think with all the activity to help them monitor what's going on better, they would have a better camera. But they don't care. They, they, yeah, they just don't care. We got dead trees there. And there's a whole line of dead trees off here on the right. Yeah, not good. So that's all I have for you right now. Looks like the camera stopped. If you have any thoughts or comments or questions, there it goes again. Please put it down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much for your support. Please stay safe. And I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.